Thank you for tuning in, folks. Thank you for staying tuned in. Waiting for the scorecards. I have it a white rock, white wash for J Rock. You know, uh, two toss up rounds, three and seven. Round of the year candidate was round six, which I did give to her. But this shot, I mean, this fight, uh, her, I mean, J Rock did the only strategy he could really do. And the only question going to, into this fight was Does J Rock have an engine? The stamina engine. Okay, you know, they're checking her eyes out. He's all swollen up. I didn't come around to a breakdown of the, this fight, but uh, J Rock. He's a he's the hard hitting body punch we saw our inside fighter Hurd was known for taking shots his whole career but never for an inside harder puncher you know he was always known for um, stalking down the movers you know J Rock is the first legitimate dog he fought who had an engine Hurd was never taking shots from a dog. He was taking shots from movers. Harrison, Trout, Lara. You know, those are probably his 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 t that is his toughest competition he was taking shots from. But none of those three guys are known as what Williams is, a, a dog, you know, a hitter. And you saw today cuz everyone fights, you could fight hurt inside. It was always the thing was hurt walks you down. And today we saw what happens if Hurd fights an inside guy who can fight inside and who can crack. You know? When we saw J Rock, you know, if he's not getting caught with an uppercut, like, you know, and he got hit with a few uppercuts here, but it's obviously that's been in that camp's mind ever since Charlo caught his ass. He's like, hey, we ain't getting caught with no uppercuts. And if it is, we're going to fucking try real hard, but. He, he just took away the, the reach. He took away the aggression of Hurd. You know, when Hurd tried to bully him, he would just get even closer to Hurd's chest, you know, and bully him right back. He wasn't being pushed back. And like I said, with the short hooks, the body attack, he he could hit hard, you know. This is one guy who wanted to fight Hurd that way to fight him, not to survive a next round. And and you saw the defense that we always talk about, which was a lap of her. Like, okay, he he gets hit real easy. J Rock could fucking crack. And like I said, the only thing I had going into this fight was if I, you know, I, I never put the prediction up, but J Rock throws everything fucking hard. He, it, my my thing was if he was gonna beat her, I thought he was gonna like knock him out in like the first five six rounds. You know, I didn't think. J Rock was going to do what he did today. I thought he was going to fade. But if I thought, hey, knock him out in the first five rounds, he beat his ass the first five, four or five rounds where her couldn't quite turn it on the second half we came accustomed to. So it is back on the day. I, I got it 119, 109. I got I got her really taking the ass whoop in this fight, you know. Not to say that he didn't make rounds competitive, but on a point scoring system, he got his ass handed to him. Yeah. All right, what do we have? Like I said, this toss up rounds three and seven, uh, round of the no. Oh, judge, judge, judge. One sixteen. One sixteen. One eleven. 116 to 112. Oh. Oh. All three. And the new. And the new. Oh. Oh. J Rock just stirred up the shit bowl. Can we see J Rock and Tony Harrison? No cornballs? Those would be, damn, that'd be a gritty fight. Harrison, Detroit, and Philly. Nah, no rematch, bro. No rematch. That's a double RT boxing thing. I don't like rematches. Not the, not, not right not right after. Not right after. Not right after. 
111. 115, 112, I guess. Actually, I got two swing rounds. That probably takes it down to 116, 111. Somewhere in there, you could give Hurd another round. Actually, Hurd, Hurd didn't get... There's a few rounds Hurd got his ass handed to him, but there are some rounds, obviously the swing rounds. And then there are some rounds where, uh, to me, Hurd probably came on strong the last... 30 seconds or last minute and I, I judge around minute by minute so hey if, fucking uh, J-Rock won one minute two minutes and then her won the last 45 seconds of the fight I just do the, do the combination so hey some of those could have been action you know cause her like I said it'd be quiet rounds that J-Rock was like, like I think it was like round 5 it was pretty uh, J Rock kind of came out wanting to uh, be on his jab. I guess take a try or win a round, taking a break. You know, his, his first four rounds battling the big ass herd inside. You know, I need, I need a break. I want to be on the jab. And fucking that that was a quiet, but J Rock was winning that round to me with with the move in, making uh, herd miss with the jab. But herd came on strong that last thirty. 35 seconds with some shots uh, punches were faster it was more I more volume of punches so it looked more you know it looked like more of a you know Hollywood type fight you know actions but I still gave that boxing for the first two minutes to Williams and that's pretty much the, the he, he just he, he wasn't being pushed back like I said this wasn't a guy trying to to move and box her, he he's I want to fight her, and it 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 worked. It worked perfectly. As good as her became known as the bully ball, bully boxing, get get inside and just boxing it up. He fought someone who could do it, and one wanted to do it. You know, everyone else, like I said, they they they, they did it because they had to. Williams welcomed it, and he cracks hard. Something heard. Heard got a fucking chin. He took all those shots. He did get dropped. I think that was the first time her got dropped. It was the second round. Second round. Fucking nice little. At first, I thought it was a reaction hook, but no, it was a, it was a temple right on the temple. We caught him. And what was the surprising thing, the surprising thing before we end this right here on the Double RT Boxing Show, was the corner pickup of them telling her. Hey man, you keep getting hit like this, we're gonna stop this. Cause that tells you Williams was landing some fucking shots, bro. Uppercuts. You know, luckily her cut his hair and it wasn't as long, so you couldn't really see his head flinging around. Cause if he still had that long hair, the long blonde shit, the, and if he was getting hit the way he was, um, I, I, I'm pretty sure the score would have been larger. Cause you would have seen that blonde shit just flying everywhere. The fact that his hair was cut, you saw his head flying by the that hair would have been that WWF shit like damn but yeah the only thing Williams didn't do that would have really helped him was they were saying he needs to turn because he was he was doing beautiful inside short crisp whether it's uppercuts the right hook he like I said he, not until like round six maybe seven is where he really started to put heard on the rope so he was doing a lot of good because it wasn't dirty they weren't holding he was just on them chest to chest but fucking throwing short hooks short short uppercuts working that inside game rocking rocking them like congratulations to j-rock man Th through the turd in a shit bowl if you bet on him oh like i said the only thing you had to really guess was his stamina that was the only thing I was questioning on J Rock. And it turns out the motherfucker left his home for a training camp and went and got a strength and condition coach. Answer that question. Let's see what the homeboy says. Let's. First of all, I want to say I'm humbly glad. I'm just so blessed. Uh, I'm humbly glad I'm Let it go, baby. Let it go, baby. Let, give me a second. This is your moment. You, you just told me. 
me you worked for this since you were four years old. I can Twelve. Twelve, bitch. Oh, he's doing Ramadan too? Damn. If, if he's doing Ramadan and, and put on and put on a performance like that, that's some... That's fucking conditioning, dude. That dude is in shape. You know, he took care of his body. Yikes. Yikes. That's that's good shit. That's good shit. That, that's what cancer is trying to do. Perform like that? Damn. Do your thing, J-Rock. This is the Double RT Boxing Show and the new WBA IBS Super Walter World Champion, J-Rock Williams.